A few years ago, I started coaching a swim team uh, and I was kind of disappointed with how separated the swim team was, so I developed a mentor program there. And everyone really liked it, they got all excited, so I kind of thought, hey, this could work at school. So I brought it back and I mentioned it to student government and everyone was excited about the idea, so it kind of flowed from there. But it's kind of going more than what I expected. Uh, I don't think like the younger kids realize how much of an impact they have on the people who are mentoring them, and that's really exciting to see. Because I remember my experiences in middle school, and everyone knows middle school is rough. And so just kind of looking back on my experiences, I can kind of share what I've learned, and they can share with me some of the fun stuff they're doing, and oh, I remember doing that, and you get all excited. And even with the elementary kids, a lot of them know who the high school students are, but the high school students don't know them. So it's really neat to kind of see, oh, okay, now I know who you are, and kind of making those connections, high-fiving in the hallways. I definitely think the um, relationships will continue after we've left Meadowbrook and we've moved on with our lives. I think the, uh, the mentoring program has impacted students on all levels because um, we have high school students who are saying, hey, I want to take time to invest in the lives of younger students. And so they're making a difference in the lives of the younger students, but at the same time they're making a difference in the lives of younger students, they're also being impacted themselves. It's just, a, I think, a more positive atmosphere. I think we have a, a group of high school students who have set a positive tone, um, led by our seniors and our student governments, the key people there. And I think that's filtered down through, and they're, and they're trying to create an environment where um, just where the whole positive culture, and they're including people that um, might normally have been got left out. You know, we also have the program where teachers also mentor our high school students. And I see a lot of relationships being built. I've heard from teachers that, you know, I've had, they've had opportunities to talk to kids that they um, might not normally have talked to. Um, you know, we just started this year, but I definitely think that and I hope that we're building some lifelong skills and lifelong um, commitments that, hey, I'm going to look for a way to make a difference. Being involved with the teacher groups, it allows the teachers to be a little bit more intimate with the students and their groups about their personal experiences and I think that that's really helpful. I really wanted to be a mentor because I saw a need in the younger students to have people to look up to. You know all the time seniors are being told there are people looking up to you so what better way to be involved in their life than to willingly be a mentor, to be somebody who they can look up to and can talk to. My favorite part is probably that you just get to learn about somebody else. Um, you know, the world today is more self-centered and it's all about me, it's all about me, but when you're a mentor, you're really being a mentor because you're interested in that other person. Well, like David, my favorite part of the mentoring program is building relationships. One thing that I'm learning from the mentoring program is that little things really do matter. Uh, sometimes if you just wave hi in the hallway or say hi or go up and ask them how they're doing, it can mean a lot and sometimes you don't always know the expanse or reach of what a kind smile or a nice word can do, but you know that it's impacting someone's life and that you can change their life and help them grow. Um, one of the things I enjoyed was like the first time I ever met Kyle because my friends told me that he was really nice and I personally never met him before. So when I got to really know him, I thought he was also really nice and I want to try being like him. Work at it? Yeah. 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 It was the fall of 1978, and I remember um, I was pretty excited, but I'm sure apprehensive as well, when I stepped onto that airplane at, at the Guatemala City Airport to come to the United States to study at a boarding school for high school. My bridge has its moorings on the Guatemalan soil of my roots. Um, that's my country. Um, and also then the wonderful things that I've acquired here as living in the United States. Those are the two sides of my bridge and I find that I live on that bridge um, and it gives me, even back then as a, as a high school student, it gave me a set of challenges. I remember that there were people there that were influential, amazing people that came and met me at my bridge. They helped me um, navigate something that was so foreign to me. 
Flash forward to 1995, that's when we found uh, Meadowbrook, and then I found that this was a place where we found a school family. Um, I found a place where I could volunteer, and soon I found a place where I could actually um, be more involved in, in helping the school as, as a teacher. A few years ago, the Lord turned all that around and said to me, I want you to look at this bridge as a place of influence and look what things have built into your life that you can use. And he gave me the wonderful um, chance, the opportunity to partner with Meadowbrook in the development of a, a bilingual program. So we started um, three years ago this program called Bridges. Um, that involves English as a second language classes for them. I kept coming across opportunities for us to have international students and I thought, well, that's, that's a bigger window of opportunity that's a, that, to say it this way, broadened my horizons, what I was looking at. And that's why our program is going to be called Horizons International Student Program to impact not just the international students but our whole school family. You know what it feels like to be that student um, and what I want to do here is to, to have us be a, a welcoming committee to those students, but I, more than just loving them, I want us to have the tools that will help them reach their academic goals, um, the, the mentoring that they need to understand the culture, the differences in the culture, even more than that, um, the ability to show them what it's like to be a, a Christian in how to live a Christian life in any culture um, unafraid. Even though we don't have any international students here yet, we're already seeing how this is impacting our students and our whole school family. I, I'm excited that it's already way beyond what I thought it was going to be, um, and the kids are not even here yet. <laughs> Bridges and Horizons, Hacienda La Vida Smuda. Well, we started JMEG Ministries after participating in a missions trip, and the worship leader had challenged us to seek the one more that God is looking for. We realized that there's many people out in the community that needs what the church has to offer, but are not going to step into a church to receive it. We had just gotten this building recently, and, and it needed to be cleaned, and I was going to have a group of eighth graders coming to clean it. And part of me was thinking this is not going to go well. But the eighth graders from uh, Meadowbrook and their teachers and faculty came and did a fantastic job cleaning our building from top to bottom, all three levels. And I challenged the kids to realize that a lot of times ministry takes place behind the scenes, that you are not necessarily going to see the people that are going to benefit from your ministry. And it was only 30 minutes after the students and faculty left that I received a phone call from one of the human resource offices wanting to know if a family could come over because they had four kids that did not have any clothes other than uh, the outfit they were wearing. We were able to provide them with clothing that the students had helped sort. They were also able to come and, and look for the clothing in a clean building and that all took place because of the sacrifice of the students and faculty here at Middlebrook. And if people come to JMEG, it's because something's not going right in their lives. And so when they come to us, we want to be able to help them in a place that is warm and welcoming. And the students at Middlebrook helped that to happen. I, I think they definitely will have the uh, desire to continue to do a little bit of what they did here as they were eighth graders. I think it's not just a one-time opportunity. I think as Middlebrook continues to provide opportunities for students to serve, then eventually that mindset is going to be second nature. And so when they do wind up graduating and they leave Middlebrook as graduating seniors, they will already have the mindset of knowing that the best way to serve God is to serve other people. I'm Pastor Dave Jones and we are doing life together. We're doing life together. We're doing, We're doing life, life together. together. We're doing life together. We're doing life together.